Okay, this film is an update on the Enigma machine. Now, I don't think the car people care about the Enigma machine and the Enigma people don't care about the cars, so I have to make two films. But a quick update on this. Uh, as you can see, I'm printing another part here. This is one of the parts for the keyboard that's been redesigned now to use a printed circuit board. And the we look at the design. Um, I redesigned this to. Whoops. Don't want to do that. Um, I've redesigned this. You can see the the printed circuit boards there in green. Um, this is the one for the keyboard here. And because of the redesign, I have had to. Um, I've had to reprint some of the parts. So, um, let's cancel that. Because this bottom plate is a PCB, it's actually thinner than the 3D printed one I had earlier. So I've had to redesign things just a little bit to make it all fit. Um, mainly I had to make this bottom piece slightly taller. So, that's what's printing at the moment. Um, I've been trying to print this quite a number of times and not having much luck, so this was one of the failed attempts. Uh, at first I had a great deal of trouble with getting it to stick. Um, this is quite often a problem with large, flat PLA, PLA parts like this. Uh, getting it so that they don't warp. And in the end I, I reset the, the heights, made sure the glass was spotlessly clean. And as you can see, I'm using a raft there. Now that's helped a lot. Um, I was also, I tended to run the glass a little bit too hot. I think I was running it at about 60 degrees. And I found that dropping it to about 40 degrees seems to make it a lot better. So that was one of the issues. Uh, I have cleaned all the, the screws on the machine. Uh, the machine still really needs to strip down a complete, complete clean and rebuild. But I did clean the screws and I've started lubricating them with bike chain lubricant which runs much cleaner and it seems to work really well. The other issue I had was the, you can't really see there, but I was getting a lot of problems with blobs of plastic being left around, uh, being stuck on things. It turns out the nozzle had come slightly unscrewed and it was oozing around the, the threads and it would cause a build up of plastic which would eventually drop onto the part and then the head would hit it uh, as it was printing and often then that would cause things to go wonky. So I solved that problem and then the next problem I found was the actual extruder was starting to come loose in its bracket. So on these sharp changes of direction the whole thing was sort of vibrating, ringing. So I've tightened all that back up and finally started getting a, a decent print from it, which was happening last night. And then we had an earthquake and it went a little bit wobbly. So things must have shaken around a little bit and it sort of lost its position a little bit. So that one's scrap. Uh, this part, because I print everything at quite high resolution, this is at point 0.1, these take, this part takes about 20 hours to print. My printer isn't fast, so that's a bit of a problem, but um, that's the only one I've got. So that is now printing, hopefully that'll be done soon and I can start rebuilding the, the keyboard because my printed circuit board's finally turned up. So this is the first one I've done. Uh, this was kind of my, my test to see what sort of job they did and how it would come out. And it's pretty much come out perfect as far as I can tell. Um, the way this will work is the micro switches will be soldered directly onto the board like that and there will be header pins along here for me to attach all cabling to. So I can wire this entire thing up as a standalone unit and it will be much simpler to assemble, much much simpler to debug if anything goes wrong and it should be a little bit more rigid as well. So, you can see to help with the debugging, I've, I've labelled which letters are what uh, for the keys. 
you have to remember this is the um, the Polish Enigma, so the keys are actually in alphabetical order, so A, B, C, D across, um, not the German version of QWERTY. Uh, I can't remember off the top of my head what the, what the Enigma one is, but um, it's not quite the same as a modern keyboard. Uh, as I say, this one's alphabetic, which is why the, the letters come out in a strange order here, because it depends on the, the tracks, of course. So that'll be the next job, is reassembling the keyboard. I'll strip down the old one and reuse all the parts from that. And hopefully that makes things a lot easier. Now that I know that these circuit boards, how they come out and what the process is, I will go ahead and get boards made for uh, the lamp board here, which again will just simplify all this wiring. I won't need individual wires to come off all these lamp holders. Uh, this bottom thing will be a circuit board and the same on the plug board here. Uh, these will have wires coming to the connectors because these are not PCB mountable connectors. Well they are but not in the orientation I've got them. So I will have to wire these up. Uh, the board will live down here but again this will make this whole plug board a standalone assembly with a row of headers to take the wires off and that should make things far far simpler and I'll also do small round boards for the reflector on this end the rotors and possibly the entry wheel which is which is down in here I, I haven't decided yet but if I'm going to use boards for those uh, these ones I may as well do it for the entry wheel as well of course those boards will have to be circular so I haven't worked out if they can do that yet um, if not, that's not a problem because I can always get square boards and then cut them down and then machine them on the lathe myself. So hopefully I'll get some time to to make some progress on this once this print finishes. Uh, it's still got a little way to go.